Well, helping out local nonprofits by indulging in chocolate and wine. That's what Montrose is doing with their annual festival. And Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead is live in Susquehanna County as they get ready. Anya? That's right, Chris and Kelly. We have our flower crowns on, we have our brownies in hand, and we have some wine too. We're talking the Montrose Chocolate and Wine Festival. We're here with Tom, who spearheaded the whole thing. So, Tom, this is a fun event. Things are starting tomorrow. But tell us about the flower crown. Oh, absolutely. The flower crowns have become a signature part of our, our event. Uh, people really look for them. Uh, she, I know that Jody always sells out really quickly. We're very lucky to have such a great shop like the Lily Pad in, in town to help us out with these, these crowns. I hope to see you on in Saturday. You got to have one on. You know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's springtime. You got to get into the fun, but <laughs> I'll at least get them for my kids. You know, good, good. Away. And so this festivity, there's a lot that goes on with it, and it's more than just uh, you know chocolatiers. There's all other things involved. Absolutely, we have fudge, we have brownies, we have pastries. Um, we've got Hazel's brownies this year. Uh, we have chocolates by Leopold from town. We've got tons of things going on. It's, it's really a great event. We've got 12 different wineries. We have vendors from all over the place, um, some really gourmet food. It's going to be a great day. And it's all to help these local nonprofits in the area. And speaking of these brownies that we're getting ready to try, we're with Hazel's Gourmet Brownies. And now you, there's a lot that you guys do. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just need to get back to the community, get the people out here, and um, have a great time on Saturday. I think we need to try these brownies. They've been looking delicious. <laughs> I'm ready to try them. You guys have them in hand. We're ready. Mmm. Those are delicious. And not only are we going to have chocolate, not only are we going to have wine, we're going to have music. And now, Alex, you're going to be playing on the main stage. There's going to be other musicians with you. You must be so excited. I am. You got me with my mouth full. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm kicking things off at 2.30. Um, we're going to have an, another local Montrose musician, Frank Fruhan. He's fantastic. He might be joining me for a couple songs. We've got the Nate Gross Band. We've got the Blind Spots. Um, this is going to be a really great time. And uh, yeah, you should really come out because you'd be amazed what local talent we have. Like it's, I'm blown away every time I, I go see live music in the area. Um, so why listen to the radio when you can come out and drink wine and listen to some great uh, live bands? I love it. She's got the spirit already. <laughs> so come get your flower crowns. Come try some gourmet brownies and try some wine, too. All to help the local community. Here in Montrose, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. It sounds like a pretty good time, and that chocolate making us hungry. It's never too early for chocolate. No, it's not. They're, they're, they're uh, making us jealous with all the brownies. And, and Alex has been playing guitar for us all morning long. She's a quite the talent. <laughs> so a lot to check out this weekend. Yeah, it should be a nice event. Mm -hmm. we'll be